Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get that active developer badge on Discord. Now with this one, simply click on the plus icon right there, the add server. Simply click on that one. And now you're gonna create a server of your own. Now, once you see these choices, you have a lot of choices, of course. You can create my own, start from template. And by the way, guys, this is fairly new regarding start from template. And basically with that one, create my own. I'm gonna with this one. And then there are choices for me and my friends and for a club or community. If you chose for a club and community, you're gonna have some different privileges, but for now, I'm gonna stick with for me and my friends because I can still change it on the layers section. Click on for me and my friends and basically change the name. Let's just say for now, YouTube help. And click on create. And let's wait for it to finish. And by the way, almost forgot, you can add some photo with this one. Let me just click on it. And then server settings. Almost forgot to add the photo, sorry about that. So change icon. I'm gonna add some Goku right there. Upload image. And save changes. Let's wait for it to finish. And now while we're here, since we're already on server settings, I want you now to look for um community. This one right here. Enable community. Click on get started. And simply check those two boxes. Click on next. Make sure this is enabled. Create one for me. Now you can choose create one for me or choose anything you want for here. But for now, I'm going to stick it on default. Click on next. And basically for the equal, make sure you click on I agree and understand. Finish setup. And that being said, that should be good to go. Now, there are some still some things to do here before we get started. And by the way, this are this website. Let me just open it up. The first website we're going to use is basically this one. I'm going to post the two links on the description below so you don't have or you won't have any problem looking them up. So next up is going to be or rather the landing page should be this one. Now, once we're here, click on new application and just name it YouTube help. You can name anything you want, but for now, I'm going to go with widget help and then click on agree, click on create. So you want to look for privilege gateway intents and under it, this one right here. Okay, under it, there will be three toggle buttons make sure you toggle each one of them and then you'll see this save changes bar make sure you click on save changes and again disclaimer everything you do here make sure you click on save now that is saved let's move on to the next one now after clicking those three enabled buttons go all the way to the top click reset token click on yes do it and you'll see this link so click on copy once copied go to this next website now, once you're on this website, simply click on create a bot and wait for it. Now, you'll see this option that says authorize. Make sure you click on authorize right there and wait for it to ask for the link. And there we go. Just paste the link we got earlier. Create a bot right there and wait for it to load up. Now, invite your bot. Click the invite button to invite your bot to your server. I can do that later on. So please stay at the end of the video. Okay, so click on next. These are the tutorials that I'm going to teach you later on. So that being said, once you're here, simply look for the developer on this section on the left side. It should look like this one. Let me just look for it. Active developer badge, this one right here. Once you have it, make sure this is enabled. By default, it should be enabled. So after making sure you enable the active developer badge toggle button, go here on the left side sections. Make sure you click on invite. Once you click on invite, you'll be redirected on your Discord application. So this is it click on continue or rather before clicking continue make sure you select your server i'm gonna go with which should help click on continue click on authorize and basically we're just gonna finish the capture so go to youtube help you may now close this youtube tab i can now open my discord now basically you'll see this option youtube help is gonna be right here the both goes is now inside our server now once you see the bot goes is inside our server simply type in the forward slash to check if we have that active dev badge right there basically if you click on that one click on enter and you'll have access so command run successfully go to this link now claim your badge again you may have to wait up 24 hours for discord to update the systems again disclaimer this is not exact the maximum i think is 48 hours or two days so let me just copy this link. Let's try opening it right now. So as you can see right there, you are not eligible for an active developer badge. For more information on the requirements, click here. Let's see how we can get eligible. So 
The Active Developer Badge is available to end developers or a team that owns at least one active application. So that being said, we just need to be active in our server. Keep inviting, keep inviting people on your server, and I'm sure after 48 hours, you'll get your Developer Badge. This one right here, the one we all want. And basically, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.